President Joe Biden today unveiled his proposed federal budget for fiscal year 2024. The $6.8 trillion budget in its current form will face near certain defeat in the U.S. House, where Republicans hold the majority. Now, the president said the budget is aimed at lowering costs for families, shoring up Medicare and Social Security, and it shrinks the deficit by $3 trillion over the next 10 years. It proposes a minimum 25% tax on billionaires, while also claiming that anyone earning less than $400,000 a year will pay any additional taxes. Now, the budget proposal includes $842 billion in discretionary defense spending, up 3% from last year. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us now. Brian, this budget won't get too far with many in Congress, but it does have a particular line of interest for a lot of folks here in Huntsville. Yeah, that's right. At least 8% of Huntsville's workforce, 21,000 people are federal workers. And when contractors are added, the figures are much higher. The president's budget is proposing a 5.2% pay increase for those federal workers, the largest since the Carter administration. At the same time, the budget proposal is already drawing strong criticism from members of Alabama's congressional delegation, including Senator Katie Britt and Congressman Dale Strong and Robert Adderholt. The congressman did not say today if they supported the federal worker pay hike. Now, Redstone Arsenal has more than 44,000 workers now, and that figure will continue to rise. So the federal budget is always a source of great interest. Senator Britt says in this budget, with inflation, defense spending will actually go down a bit, while other spending will increase, and she says there is not enough focus on southern border security. Congressman Strong said today in a statement in part, President Biden's fiscal 24 budget, by increasing non-defense spending at more than twice the rate of defense spending, President Biden's budget ignores the global security challenges facing the American people. More inflationary domestic spending is not the solution that American families have been waiting for. Now, Congressman Robert Adderholt said in a statement this afternoon, he said in part, quote, the president's budget is a non-starter for Americans. Not only does it roll back unnecessary spending, but actually increases much of it by wide margins. Jerry?